Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to make a beautiful looking presentation using Haiku Deck. Haiku Deck has been available as an iPad app for a little over a year. It's been very popular as an iPad app and is now available in a web browser version as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm already signed in. On this next page, we'll see a little visual tutorial on how to use Haiku Deck. Let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, you may have noticed on my blog earlier this week, I made a presentation about Thanksgiving traditions in the United States. I'm going to do the same thing again here in this tutorial. So let's start by just typing in Thanksgiving. And we'll say the American version. You may have already noticed that the font has automatically shrunk as I typed. I think that's one of the best features of Haiku Deck for students. Uh, it really focuses students on knowing the material, on using good visuals, and not relying on text and bullet points in their slides. You'll notice that we do have the option to use some bullet points or lists in our slides, but uh, I generally steer people away from doing that. We can also change the theme here. Uh, if we click on the Themes tab, we have a variety of themes that we can pick from. Uh, some of these themes are free and some of them are not free, just like in the iPad app. I'm going to close that back up. Now let's go ahead and look for a picture. One of the things that's nice about Haiku Deck is they have a massive gallery of Creative Commons licensed images that students can use. And Haiku Deck has already noticed that I typed the word Thanksgiving and is suggesting that as a search term. So I'm going to go ahead and use that option. Now I have some Thanksgiving related pictures. Let's go ahead and we'll use that one. Now let's add a new slide down here in the bottom right corner. And I'm going to say football. Are you ready to watch or are you ready for some football? I don't want all of my text to appear in the center of all of my slides. So what I'm going to do here is on the left hand side I'm going to change the layout of that particular slide. This does not change the theme, this only changes the layout on that slide. So I'm going to go down here and maybe I'm going to pick that layout. Are you ready for some football? Now I want to add a picture of football. So let's go back and set the background. And here we have some suggested football pictures. Let's go ahead and uh, pick this picture of the Giants huddling up. And now we have two slides in our picture, in our presentation. Let's add one more slide. And I'm going to say, everyone loves a parade. And I'm going to change the layout to everyone loves a parade. Now, I don't want to pick the parade or everyone or loves in Haiku Deck suggested searches here. I want to find a picture of the Snoopy float during the Macy's parade. Let's see if I can find one. And there we have one. There we have some floats going by. That's not the Macy's parade, but that'll work. And we'll go with that particular layout and that slot. Now, I also have the option here to upload an image. Let's say there was an image that, uh, that I'd taken with my camera or my phone and I stored it on my computer. I can go ahead and upload it by using the upload feature down here. Choose a file and pull it from my desktop. You'll also notice we can 
take photos from our Google Drive account, Flickr, Dropbox, Instagram, Facebook, uh, a whole bunch of places that we can get pictures from. So I'm done. This is a simple three slide presentation. Let's go ahead and share it. We call it Thanksgiving and a simple presentation on the holiday. I'm just going to put it in the education section for now and publish that. You notice we have a bunch of ways to share this with our friends. We can Facebook it, tweet it, LinkedIn, email, embed it. Uh, or if you want to use it in a PowerPoint, if you want to use Haiku Deck to design your slides and then use it in PowerPoint, go ahead and export it to PowerPoint. I'm just going to publish it now. And there we go. So that's my presentation. I want to go back and edit something that I worked on earlier. So I'm going to click my decks up here. And we can see my presentation from earlier this week that I made. I'm just going to hover on it and click edit deck. When that loads, I can go ahead and I can add more slides to it. I can pick that particular slide and I could delete it if I wanted to just by hovering over it and clicking delete. Maybe I want to repeat that slide. Let's go ahead and click copy on it. Now I've got two copies of that slide in that presentation. So let's go ahead and delete the extra one. And again, I'm done editing, so I'm going to share it with the whole world. So that's the Haiku Deck web app, uh, very similar to the iPad app. Doesn't have the transitions that you'll find in Keynote or PowerPoint, but it, I actually like that aspect of it because it really focuses students on knowing their material uh, and using great full-size visuals in all of their slides. So sign up for Haiku Deck at haikudeck.com, and I think you'll really enjoy it.